Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I wanted to compare how the new stencil feature to render opacity based leaves compares to other workflows. So we will compare first uh, geometry without opacity maps, then we will do with opacity maps, then the stencil and finally geometry based. So to not waste your time I'm gonna right away perform the test in front of you and after that I, I can show you my little setup. So I just have this demo scene that I put together quickly and I'm going to load the first test. So the first test is just the leaf. Uh, so I'm going to show you in here. It's just the leaf, the leaves with no opacity maps. As you can see, we have the, all the, the geometry. So let's compare that. Let's run the render and it shouldn't take too much. So it will take about, I don't know, 15 seconds, maybe, maybe more. So it took 26 seconds. Let's snap it and uh, save it. Now we will render opacity base. So I'm just going to change in here the mater material and set the opacity. And let's do a render and make sure we restart. This is a bug in Odini 21. As you can see, the, the time to the first pixel, it will be a bit slower. Let me pause and come back to you. So almost finished. And that took uh, 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Let's snap it. And now let's go for the stencil option. So I'm going to change again the material for the the one without opacity and enable the, um, the stencil map in here in the render geometry settings, stencil map. And I'm going to enable that and re-render. And I need to restart the render. And as you can see, it's going. So let me pause. So that took 27 seconds with the stencil map. And now let's change again to to the geometry base so without stencil and without opacity maps just making sure and now let's do a quick render make sure we restart and let me pause and as you can see that took only 16 seconds so i think we have an issue in here so for the first one we had 26 seconds and the last one we had 16 but let's do another test without with the first geometry and making sure we don't have any issue so let me just restart because i think it's taking longer than was expected so let me pause so we know it makes more sense 15 seconds so let's snap that and delete the first one can we move this one no so without opacity maps and stencils it took 16 seconds then with opacity maps it took 2 minutes and 36 with stencil 27 seconds and with opacity based leaves only 16 seconds so with, with geometry, it, it takes the same amount of time, but this one has, uh, has the right cutout, and this one is just uh, the basic geometry being opacity based. So you can compare for yourself, is the stencil is still worth it, so 27 seconds, but you can see how these will scale up. So it's, it's still uh, the better option is to use opacity based leaves. Or you can just render full geometry without the opacity map and you still if it's far from far away it will still be okay so there you have your tests now i'm gonna show you how i set this up so let me switch in here to the initial layout and let me have a look at the tree in here so this is my tree nothing special but let me make sure i disable this so you can see so this is the base tree i did with the simple tree tools nothing too special we have done this before then i have a leaf scatter which i'm packing so i'm using instances as you can see quite a lot 6000 instances for the proxy <clears throat> i'm doing unpack scatter a few points vdb from particles convert vdb with an eye ad adaptivity and then poly reducing it and then i export this as a proxy and then for the tree i noticed we have an issue right now in odini 21 this is the first version also that if I merge the, the trunk and the branches with the leaves, I get no stencil map working. So I had to separate the, the branches from the leaves. So that's what I'm doing in here. I'm exporting in here the trunk and branches in one file. Then in another file, I'm exporting just the leaves and make sure I set it to create point instancer in the pack primitives. And then for the opacity, the, for the geometry based one, as you can see, we have in here the Atlas processor and we have the, the, the geometry around. And if I enable this uh, HDA that I'm going to share on Patreon, this just creates from opacity 
to geometry, opacity based lips or vegetation and converts it to geometry. So this is a new version of my HDA that I'm going to share, but you can totally use uh, something custom. And then I'm doing the lip scatters uh, like uh, we did for the, the opacity based ones. And I'm exporting that in this case as three, uh, three leaves meshed and as always create point yes. Then in Solaris, let's have a look how that's set up. So let's go to OBJ, Lopnet and look at the geometry spreadsheet. So in this case, I have a switch between the, the opacity based leaves and the meshed leaves. So I'm just referencing here the, the trunk and branches, the leaves and the proxy and doing the same in here, but the meshed leaves. Then I'm uh, putting the putting these in the in a render folder, as you can see in here, and also doing the same for the proxy in a proxy folder. Then just setting the purpose, render and proxy. As you can see, if I change in here, if I enable the purpose, one is proxy and the other is render, the other two. And if, if you still have this issue of both meshes displaying, just reset the viewport and it will go away. So you can switch between the, the final render and the proxy. From there, I'm creating a collection and doing a basic instancing using that collection. I'm say I'm doing it in the first input so I can in this case I'm doing the materials after but I could have done the materials before and that way it will propagate to the incisor. So then doing the incisor as you can see applying the materials which one just has the the albedo roughness normal and translucency and the opacity based one has the opacity connected right here to the opacity. So opacity. And I'm also using thin world on both and playing a bit with the exposure and hue of the albedo. I have also a trunk material, just very basic. And then in here I'm doing the, the stencil thing that we tested. And yeah, that's about it. I'm also increasing a bit the SSS limit. And uh, I just left the path trace samples to default. So as you can see again, we go from 16 in geometry based uh, renders, but uh, the other geometry based has the advantage of having the real cutout. Then we go to opacity, which increase quite a bit the, the, the render time. And finally, we do the stencil, which is still much better than the opacity based, but is also slower than the geometry based. So I hope that was clear. Uh, sorry for not doing a video on Odini 21 features, but I'm having some bugs. I already reported them. I am trying to do some some new videos on cops and on other things. But for now, I just wanted to compare this uh, stencil new workflow. So I hope you find this useful. And as always, you can grab the full scene on Patreon alongside with exclusive tutorials. Other than that, please leave your comments below. And I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you.